Well, like Jake Tapper says on CNN, have a lot of color toner in your printer. The more report comes out tomorrow. And it's going to be color-coded for kitties. All those kitties. And get those colors. <sighs> I'd read tomorrow. Uh, some drama going on in the ufology community. There's, um, one, you know, when I got into this crazy field, one of the first channels came up mainly because... The, Lots of, you know, clips are up and a huge membership, you know, several million was Secure Team 10. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I question about the clips and there's a lot of stuff in there that's great. And the one thing that I do like about the Secure Team 10 is that he does keep up on current events. Something's going down in the community. He's already got a clip up there. And um, I'm glad that, uh, you know, Tyler with Secure Team 10 is there. Uh, and he gets attacked all the time. Of course, you know, when you're on top, you're bound to get darts. And there's this other channel that the guy has made this whole expose about Tyler did this, Tyler's a fraud, Tyler was this, Tyler was that, and on and on and on. And as I have said before, this kind of bullshit that's going on is what makes it so hard to do any sort of serious research in the ufology community. And, uh, you know, you don't have to believe everything that's on anyone's channel or even on my channel. You don't believe it? Fine. You don't like it? No. As they say in television, turn the channel. Go something else. But, uh, anyway... I think, let me just see if there's any interesting news stories. I'll go here to my favorite news page and check out UFO Leaks Daily. Okay, all right, I see one there. I agree with that. Then these are the most credible UFO sightings in modern history because they were taken by disabled people who didn't know how to, you know, obviously didn't have the knowledge to screw around with the camera. And the images were on the negatives, and the negatives were determined that they were real. And that's the famous um, Oregon shots. Let me see if I can find the actual case here. You see them in all the books. They're black and white, and it's like over a barn. And let's see where we have this here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, McMinnville. No, the McMinnville case. That's what very real. Those came out of the negatives. They were not doctored because the individuals that took them, you know, they were disabled mentally, but they didn't have, well, I shouldn't say that completely, but they didn't have the capability of doing that, especially because of the physical problem. But uh, it was in May 1950, uh, the McMinnville, uh, Oregon sighting. And uh, let's see, this is on, see, UFO, see, uh, uh, UFO Leaks Daily is an aggregator. So this one is some news we can, I'll put the, uh, Wait a minute here. What are we doing? Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. I saw a CNN clip coming up. What was that? Okay, yeah. I'll put the link down here uh, for it. And the item that I'm talking about here, I'm going to scroll down the page a little bit, uh, is item number 15. And, um, you know, keep keep going on it. Uh, it's an interesting article. Uh, from Newsweek, they seem to be going through the most, you know, uh, credible images uh, and stories. So it's 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 a good article. I like it. And let's see here if there's anything else on the leaks. Harvard oh. astronomer. Have anything to find us? A Harvard astronomer and the mysterious interstellar object. Well, we talked about that before. 
Uh, I will speak about that again. Let's see what we got. Let's check their videos here. Actually, we got some other ones. Ah, a lot more. Okay. Hmm. Oh, pretty good ones. Now, let's see here. Anyway, uh, the McMinnville, Oregon case, that's one to look up, and we'll um, see you in the next clip.